You have to look at your brain like a muscle in the body. You either use it or lose it. And the more you use the brain, the stronger and more powerful and more functional it becomes. People don't understand there are good brain foods and bad brain foods, fatty foods, uh, high foods with a lot of sugar in them, foods that are generally unhealthy for you are damaging to your brain as well because your brain is very vascular. And the same blood vessels that feed your heart also feed your brain. So we have to look at the brain almost like a mini heart. It needs nutrients, it needs oxygen, it needs the right type of things to keep it fully functional. It also needs hydration. A lot of times if people are very dehydrated, it will affect their brain function, electrolyte imbalance, and so on. So there are healthy brain foods such as fruits, vegetables, purified water, lean chicken, meat, vegetables, and things of that sort are healthy. And then there are the bad brain foods such as fried foods, greasy foods, too much fat in the diet, and so on, which can disrupt. But one of the simple things that everybody can do is really try and keep themselves well hydrated. Some of the good types of supplements that are used for brain function, acetyl L-carnitine, phosphatidylcholine, uh, these are some of the more natural approaches for a better brain function. And then there are other kinds of medications used in, in Europe, such as Depranil and Hydrogen and other things along those, uh, along those categories for helping to stimulate memory and brain function. As people get older, their activity levels drop, and their children may move away, and they're alone, and they stop using their brain as much as they used to. They may just sit there and watch TV all day. They're not thinking about things. They're just being entertained. This is not a healthy thing. We need to use the brain, challenge it, and do sort of like brain teasers or brain exercises or brain building exercises to keep it sharp, like crossword puzzles, addition and, ma and various mathematical formulas in our brain, trying to memorize lists doing things with maybe putting your watch on your other hand or writing with an opposite hand or reading backwards in a book and things such as this, you're challenging your brain. And another important thing is just going out and being social, interacting with others. So when you think about health, it's not just your body, it truly is your brain and your body together as one unit.